Hello, welcome to a first demonstration video demonstrating the close air support uh, functionality within the Moose framework for DCS World. The mission ID that you can find within Moose is CAS-001, CAS in the zone. For the purpose of this demonstration, this test mission has been created. You have an AI uh, plane, yeah, which is a, an SU-25T flying to a patrol zone. And the AI will circle or will fly through the patrol zone uh, for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it will be commanded to engage the ground troops that are being located within the engagement zone. So the plane will group actually, yeah, will fly towards the engagement zone and will detect for targets within the engagement zone. Once the targets have been detected, it will start attacking those targets. And once these targets have all been eliminated, and by the way you need to take really care that you see those five targets here not being attacked at all, so once the targets within the engagement zone have been eliminated, the group will fly back to the patrol zone. However, I've built a trigger within the mission script to immediately, when all targets have been destroyed, to return to base. So it will return to the Krimsk airbase and land. Let's have a look at this mission script, which you can find... Um, you can find this under Moose Test Missions, CAS Close Air Support, CAS 001, CAS in the Zone. Okay, so let's um, let's have a view on this mission. By the way, Gunterlund, one of our community members, has been so kind to document this mission thoroughly so that you'll, when you open the mission, you'll better understand what's going on. So basically, in this mission, um, the engagement zone here that was created must be declared within the mission. Okay, so the CAS engagement zone needs to be declared within the mission script. So we have defined the zone, so we're declaring it zone.new and then the name of the engagement zone, which is this one. Similarly, we have a plane object here. So we want to declare the plane object. So what we do is we find the group, give the name of the plane, and as a return we get within this variable the group object. We name that group cast plane. Similarly, we have a patrol zone here, so we declare the zone, giving the name of the zone, and store it in this variable. Now here is where the interesting part starts. Here we are instantiating or creating that CAS zone object. So we have a new class here called AICASZone.new, and here we simply can say patrol the AI within the patrol zone which is was was uh, declared here patrol the ai flying between an altitude between 500 meters and 1000 meters between a speed of 500 and 600 kilometers per hour and when you are commanded to engage engage in the cas engagement zone which we declared here that's it that's the only thing you need to do to run this process. Now this object comes with a couple of uh, APIs, let's call it events. And I'm going to explain you a little bit what these events are about. The first, this, targets. Targets is a group, and this is important to understand. It is a group, however, only the units of that group within the engagement zone will be engaged by the CAS, by the close air support. The units 
residing outside of the zone will not be engaged. So, as I said within the introduction video of the closed air support, you need to assign the AI, meaning the CAS plane, towards the CAS zone process. And you do this first simply by using the set controllable object. So you do AI, CAS zone, double point, and then set controllable CAS plane. Okay, then once the AI has been assigned to the process, you can start the process. And for this, we have a CAS zone. We have, I have uh, declared two kinds of event handlers. And for this, I think you should go to the finite state machine explanation. But uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to start the process asynchronously um, using the event handler start, which I have not mysteriously declared, but I need to do that. It's my mistake. I will fix that. Anyway, then we have a process called engage. So we have CAS zone. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage this, um, you know, I'm going to engage the AI. So, so this is asynchronous. So I'm going to fast. This is asynchronously. So when you start this process, after one second, the process will be started. But I can already declare that I want to start the engagement after 600 seconds, which is in 10 minutes. Yeah, so I can easily write it like this. Again, yeah. Okay, I'm just demonstrating how to code it in parallel. And then I've done something more complicated. Here I have a scheduler. And a scheduler is not yet fully documented. I still need to do that. But basically what I'm doing here is I am reserving this function to be executed after 20 seconds. And then after every 60 seconds, I'm going to check whether the targets within the engagement zone, you know, that group is being reduced to five units. And once it is five units, I uh, declare that mission to be accomplished. I declare the cast to be accomplished. So I'm then calling this event handler after one second saying accomplish. And the AI will go back patrolling into the zone above. However, I am handling the accomplish event by declaring an, an on after function with these standard parameters here. And then I can say, well, the AI cast zone needs to return to base after one second. So I think you carefully need to study this mission a little bit to really understand the power of the Moose framework. So what we have done here is we have created objects that you can combine and create powerful scripts. So forget flags, forget triggers within the mission editor. I think this is very powerful and I hope this is a clear demonstration of what is possible. So let's have a look to how this mission is running. So here we are within the mission. Um, I'm going to speed up this a little bit. The time. So you see the group patrolling to the patrol zone. And take care of the time. We're five minutes, six minutes. Here we go, 10 minutes. And now I have engaged the target. Remember here, the code. So now it's flying towards this engagement zone. It is detecting the target. So it does a pass and it says, I found the targets. It's going back. And now it starts attacking those targets. Here you go. This is a group attack, attacking multiple units. Um, the CAS API has been defined, but maybe the process how this attack is done is not optimized yet. Um, I think the API is consistent. 
and I can optimize the process of the attack internally within the within the class. So right now here you can see that all the targets within the engagement zone have been destroyed and the uh, AI is flying now back to the base. Remember we triggered accomplish and now we triggered um, return back to base. I don't know if I can size this back here. Yeah, so this is what happened. So all of the targets were destroyed. We triggered accomplish and that then triggered here return to base. If I wouldn't have catched this event handler here accomplish and then give the command return to base, the AI would have returned back to the patrol zone and, and continue to patrol. So I hope you find this interesting and um, see you soon. Bye bye.